I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs. Today I'm going to make these spool Christmas trees. I'm going to make some of these with the spool as is and then I'm going to make some of them with an aged looking spool. I have these little craft spools and they are three-fourths of an inch tall and I have these two inch Christmas trees. I found these at Hobby Lobby and then I have some ribbon, Christmassy looking ribbon that will fit inside the middle here. And this is 3 8 inch ribbon. I want to make the spool look old. So I have some burnt umber craft paint. It's folk art brand. And I'm going to just put a tiny bit into, then I'm going to add some water to water it down. So I have a pretty thin consistency here and I'm just going to paint it onto the spool. And then I'm going to kind of gently blot it off. That gives it more of a look of an old spool. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue some ribbon into the spool. I'm going to start by measuring the ribbon around the spool and cutting just a little bit more than necessary to cover the entire spool, so overlap it a little bit. And then I'm going to apply glue to the inside of the ribbon. And then I will stick it on the spool. Trying to keep it centered on the spool. And I want to make sure I get just a little bit of glue right there on the edge of the ribbon so it doesn't unravel. Then I'll hold it there for just a minute to make sure that it sticks. The ribbon really did not want to stick to itself. I ended up using some of my fast grab tacky glue and just sticking a little bit underneath with a skewer and now it's stuck down just fine. So the next step is to add the Christmas tree. These Christmas trees have a little wooden base on them so you can just screw that off and then as you see it's got a way bigger hole than this so if I stuck it in there it would be wobbly. So I want to put something in there that will keep the tree from being wobbly and I'm going to just use a pipe cleaner because I have lots of pipe cleaners and I'm going to fold it back and forth about four times is what's necessary to fill that hole nicely. Then I'm going to put glue all around this and press it in. So that's got glue everywhere and then I'm just going to squeeze it and push it into the hole. And then since it already has glue, I'll just take the tree and push it down into the middle of the hole. There. I have these little tiny snowflake buttons that came in a variety pack with some bigger snowflake buttons also and I got them at Hobby Lobby in the Christmas crafts. So what I'm going to do is cut the shank off the button so it can lay flat on the tree and I'm going to use some wire cutters and you want to be careful here because the shank wants to fly so you want to protect it and maybe wear some protective eye glasses also. Then I'm going to use the Aileen's Fast Grab Tacky Glue again and a 
skewer, a wooden skewer to be able to apply it exactly where I want to and have a little bit more control than if I was just putting it directly out of the bottle. I'm going to find the back of the ribbon where the ribbon ends and turn it over so that I can put the snowflake on the front. And then I want the snowflake to be at the very top and just up over the tip of the tree just a little bit. If you can't find these snowflakes or want a different look, you could use little stars or whatever you like. I've got some little tiny red seed beads and I'm going to put some of my fast grab tacky glue onto a wooden skewer again and just place a little bit on a bead and then place it on the just on the tip of a branch. I'm just going to place them in random spots on the tree. You want to make sure that you use a tacky glue that will dry clear. Hot glue is would works really fast and it would stick them, but you're probably going to end up with glue globs that would be easy to see if you use the hot glue. For this size of tree, with this size of beads, I'm using five beads per tree. If you have a bigger tree, you might want to use bigger beads and they might, it might need more beads. You could add a hanger to these if you want and make them into Christmas tree ornaments or you could just use them in a Christmas display. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.